All right, Tajir McCall, um, here with Mirko. Don't know his last name, but we're going to figure that out. Uh, okay, let's get straight into it. First question. How do you say your full name and does it have a meaning? Uh, Mirko Jeric is the way you pronounce it. The meaning, I mean, the thing closest to Mirko is called Miran, which is like a nickname for... Sort of like a relaxed sort of bloke, which is quite the totally opposite to me, so I probably don't deserve the name. <laughs> okay, where are you from? Uh, I was born in Bankstown, Western Sydney, but uh, my background's Serbian. Alright, favorite meal. If you had one meal, you only can eat this meal, this is the last meal you're ever gonna have. What, what are you getting? I'm pretty sure you stole that question off me. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> uh, Probably be a Serbian meal. Uh, probably chavapi, which is like little skinless sausages. No halloumi? Uh, well, we will get there. We'll get there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, probably chavapi, and then you have like this bread and kaimak, which is sort of like a spread, and yeah, it's just a traditional sort of Serbian thing. All uh, right. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? <laughs> uh, probably to, to teleport. I hate traveling, I hate <laughs> going on planes, I hate all that shit, so, oh, sorry. But uh, <laughs> yeah, probably teleporting would be the one. Okay. All right. What do you think your best quality is? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess it could be my best and worst, uh, my passion for everything I do. Yeah, great, 100%. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite hobby outside of basketball? Um, probably hanging out with the people that mean most to me uh, and staying in contact with people that are not in the same same place, so overseas in Serbia or back home in Sydney. Uh, obviously just FaceTiming, whatever, and I like to play video games as well, FIFA mainly. Which I cooked you in, but no, we'll get to that another not. day. <laughs> if you could do one thing the rest of your life and money doesn't matter, you don't have to worry about money, you don't have to worry about anything, if you could do one thing the rest of your life, what would it be? What do you mean? As in like... like for me, it would probably be traveling. Like okay. I could just travel wherever I want yeah, yeah, yeah. for the rest of my life. Well, that wouldn't be bad at all. <laughs> uh, be video games, swimming, it could be whatever you you would, you would be comfortable doing the rest of your life without worrying about I mean, I wouldn't mind being like a legit soccer player. I mean, they have a pretty sick life. Oh, so <laughs> I wouldn't mind scoring in a World Cup or something. That would be pretty sick, but yeah. It was always a toss up between basketball and soccer. Okay, we can go with that. That's, that's yeah. cool. All right. If you could take one pill, right, and you could go back five years. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, <laughs> you, could, so, so, you could go back five years, knowing everything you know now, and we'll give you ten thousand dollars, or you can take five million dollars right now. Which one would it be? Five mil now, bro. You're taking five mil. Why would now? I want to go back in time? Because you can invest it in Bitcoin for It'd ten thousand dollars. Yeah, you know what? That'd be give worth. Give me the right five now. mil now. <laughs> I'll figure it out, bro. Come okay, on, man. Okay. Ten mil for ten thousand. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's something that you think you're great at, but others disagree? Oh boy. Um. I don't know. I mean. I feel like people know me pretty well, and we agree if I'm on shit, <laughs> shit about things or not. I mean, me going, in, like, me going into the paint for a lap, it's like, don't do that, Burke. <laughs> like, I know, I know that. <laughs> I'm a very self-aware man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, who's your favorite NBA player? Of all time or? Uh, right now. Right Let's now? Let's do both, all time and right now. Okay. All time would probably be Pedro Sajakovic in his days in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Uh, and now it will be Clay Thompson. So, yeah, two shooters. Uh, okay, what's something the younger you will look at now and say, I'm proud of who you became, or I'm proud of how much you've grown? What do you mean? Like, in, like, so, like, so like if you, were, if you talk to your younger <coughs> self and they say you handle your passion the right way now, or you've grown to be a very caring person different than when you were young, yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that, what, what do you think the most that, that one thing is? Uh, probably patience. Yeah. Yeah, definitely patience because young I was just like, I just want more and more, more. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and a little short fuse. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely the patience there. Yeah. Okay. Hello, 
Uh, I'm going to be interviewing Mr. McCaw here. But I'll ask him first, my first question is, how do you say your full name? Uh, Tajer Dante McCaw. There we go, that's something I didn't know already. Uh, do you have any siblings, Saj? Uh, yeah, I have an older sister and an older brother. Nice. Uh, what is something that you miss most about home? Uh, the food, easily. 100%. The food? Yeah, I just was saying that the other day. 100%. So you're saying the Philly cheesesteak is better than pizza? For door. <laughs> of course. I don't know what this thing is. Yeah, me. easily. <laughs> I don't know what this thing is, but alright. Um, what is your yeah? What is your favorite NBA player? Right now? Right now, and growing up as well. Uh, I would say right now maybe Ja, Ja Morant, uh, Ja Morant and Drew Holiday, yep. and growing up, Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson. Yeah. Nice, nice. Fair enough. Uh, did you play any other sports growing up? Nah, it's just a class clown, honestly. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't play any other. How other. were you in school? Did you, were you in I had good grades, but the teachers didn't like me much. I kind of talked a lot and made a lot of jokes. Yeah. And I was so good at my work that I would get done early and I was very immature, so I would have a lot of free time while everybody else was working and I got in a lot of trouble. So you distracted everyone else? Yeah, definitely that guy. <laughs> oh, sucks, sucks. Uh, what, what would you say your biggest achievement is in life? It's a pretty big question, I know, but let's broad it down. Basketball-wise, what do you think? Um, uh, I mean, I can answer both. My yeah. biggest achievement overall is just the friends and the people that I've met through basketball and just in life. I have some really good like relationships of people yeah. that I didn't grow up with, so that's probably the biggest thing. Basketball, I guess the championship I won last year, but uh, I don't know. I just, I don't really count kind of achievement, achievements as far as like awards. I kind of yeah. like my relationships and the people that I meet and the things that help me grow yeah. during the course of seasons in my life. I kind of think those are the biggest accomplishments for me. That's fair enough. Great answer. Well, we talk about that. There's a, I've got a question for you. Would you rather average 40 points and lose? We'll play three minutes a game, be a bench trauma, and win. So can I can I ask clarity on that question? When you say win, are we winning the championship? Or are we just winning games? You win the championship, but you are no part. Oh, you win the championship, ever, 100%. Or average 40, killing, you're all over the headlines. Championship, 100%. No question about it, I'm taking yeah, the championship. Yeah, we picked the right one. Yeah. <laughs> picked the right one, even though he's playing 38 minutes <laughs> I can answer that now. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're going to go a bit off track here. Uh, would you rather go back in time a thousand years or a thousand years into the future? Future. Uh, I think back in time, as good as it was, it's kind of like, I feel like it was way harder to live. Like, you know what I mean? Like, probably no airplanes, no cars for real. I think in the future, it's going to be flying cars, robots to do your laundry for you and things like that. And I'm very lazy, so I for sure future. <laughs> uh, just a bit of a random question. Would you, would you rather fight a bear or a lion? Bear. Explain why. Uh, I, I don't understand this. <laughs> because a bear would absolutely move you. No, I would have a better chance of a bear. How? Because a bear, right, they don't move as agile and as quick as lions. So I can hit the bear, run, hit him again. A lion? is this no way can it's, hit a bear. How am I going to hit a lion? What do you mean? It's how? just a big pussycat. Okay, I bet you. <laughs> I bet you think that. I would love to see that. <laughs> we have to get that done. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, would you rather read people's minds or teleport? Teleport. Uh, read people's minds is kind of dangerous. I don't mm. think I would want to know. <laughs> I think that's always a good thing. Uh, and teleport, like I said, I'm super lazy. And I would probably do some stuff that's probably illegal. I probably shouldn't say it on camera, but I definitely would use it to my benefit. Probably take some money or something. No, so nice. I don't have to do anything. I can just be lazy the rest of my life. That's fair enough. Um, why are you so nice all the time? And if you can, can you please roast me so we can see a different side of you? Uh, I will not do the second part. No, uh, you have to. It's part of the agreement we've had. Uh, the first part, I don't know. I just, like where I grew up, it's kind of like, it's super rough, it's super tough. So it's just like the things that I see now and I'm a part of now, I'm kind of like always grateful. And I've always had people that like did the extra mile for me when they didn't have to. So I just feel like I've seen so many people in worse situations and actually like going through real life problems that I'm, there's nothing that I'm going through that's actually worth not being appreciative and it's, it's not about me all the time. So I really don't have anything to be mad about as long as I'm waking up. I can play basketball so it's like, I can't be mad. And I'm not doing the same part. What a nice What a nice Who inspires your hairstyles? Uh, honestly, the fact that I don't know how to do hair and sometimes
I just need to do something. I, like I can't have the same thing, even with my sneakers. And mm. I've just always been that guy that I get tired of things fast. So it's just, I like, I gotta do something new. Go and honestly, I've been struggling out here. So if y'all know anyone that does really good well with dreads, Please let me know because as you see, you're in the wrong area, yeah. bro. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm figuring oh, that man, out. I don't know, man. <laughs> you might just have to shave it. No, it's too I'll, hot anyway, bro. It's Get super, real. but I'll deal with it. All right, my last question to you is: Who do you think is your celebrity doppelganger? What that mean? Like, uh, what you saying? Doppelganger. <laughs> Doppelganger. Yeah, What's a double ganger? No, like a look a lot. That's what y'all call it. Damn, bro. Bro, I'm making me nervous. No, bro, I've never heard that. I just said ganger three yeah. times. I'm like, <laughs> double ganger. Good. Uh, maybe Denzel Washington. Oh, nah, 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 nah. nah. Uh, I don't think I have one, honestly. I've never heard someone say you. Oh, Little Wayne. Uh, no, that was. I was like, <laughs> I was about to say something. I can't say. I want to say something I can't say, <laughs> but uh, I've heard, I've heard, <laughs> uh, what's his name? The guy from uh, Iron Man, the, uh, you know, Iron Man's best friend, the one that's in a suit with him, Don Cheadle, whatever his name is. is You've seen Iron Man, the one that's in the American, that's in the army or Navy, whatever he's in, and he's the only one that's, that's in the Iron Man suit too. I don't know what you're talking about. Wow, what do you watch? But him or uh, Sydney Poirier, some, some, something like that. Yeah. yeah.